Well, hello, my friends. Time Architect here, and welcome to another episode from my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. Oh, man, I do hope you guys are super excited for today's episode. If you are, be sure to go ahead and smash that like button because we have a lot of work to do in today's episode. Lots of little, tiny, little detailed work. The stuff that really will bring all of these builds to life because we have a world tour coming up next episode and I do not want to have all of these little projects hanging over my head. I want to knock them out. So we're going to take care of that this episode. Also, welcome all my new subscribers. 196? You guys just helped me blow up overnight. In the course of, I think, about a week, I gained 150 plus subscribers. Thank you all and welcome to the channel. I actually had to go back through and re record this clip because I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a nice 100 subscribers to special, and then 125, next thing I know, 150, 175. Nope, 196. Welcome, everyone. Glad to have you here, and I hope you all enjoy this series watching it as I do making it. And for all my viewers who are out there that haven't quite been sold on the subscribe, be sure to do that. It really helps out the channel and really grows the community. I'll pull up a screenshot here. There is a pretty significant amount of you out there that haven't subscribed yet. So go ahead and do that right now. It's free and you can always unsubscribe at any time. And if you haven't gotten the chance already, do be sure to go check out my new series with my buddy Maya Quest from our handcrafted SMP. Go check it out right now and while you're there, be sure to give him some love and give him a subscribe. Well, that's enough self-promotion for an episode. Oh, uh, sorry, you see me in diamond armor? Yeah, you'll just have to wait and watch the rest of the episode to see what happened there. But moving right along. So one of the first key details that I want to include in this world are some cars. I had mentioned it before when we were talking about this build, how we need to add that lifelike feel. And what's a city without a whole bunch of cars? So I gathered myself up a whole bunch of resources and I figured let's build this first little bit together. So we're gonna start off with a loom. Nice, simple loom. Boom. Tutorial over. Just kidding guys. This will be the front bumper, and we're going to try it with a ladder on the front of that. See what it looks like. I don't hate it. And then let's go ahead and add in some headlights via sunflowers. Beautiful, beautiful. And then not black concrete, but block of coal for our tires. And then we're going to go over three. And, oh, that's kind of cool. You get to see a little bit of the water underneath. I love it. Unfortunately though, this is not gonna work because I need to put a hubcap on it. You know what, we'll hide the hubcap. Let's just roll with it. One hubcap, two, and three. And then we're going to, not yet, we're going to then drop in some smooth sandstone, just like so, including it in the front. And then one right here in the back. Back bumper. And then our tail lights. From here, we are actually going to not that. I'm going to add in some wheel wells, just like so. One, two, three, and four. So we have it just like that. Looks a little odd, but I am new to building vehicles, so we'll drop those in just like so. And then we need to have one there and then we'll take our black stained glass for our windshield side windows and rear window add in some supports for the back to round it out add a little bit more height with some slabs there add in our walls via well walls <laughs> And then we are actually missing our last piece. Last black concrete right there. And then let's go ahead and give this thing some paint. Yep, it's going to be a cabbie. <laughs> Just like so. Oh, and one right there. 
And then what's a cab without a little bit of signage on the top? Just like that. And finish things off with some mirrors. There we go. And there we have a very, very block shaped cab. But with this design, we can, with a little bit of minimal effort of changing the different colors, we can turn this into all sorts of different cars. I think it matches the scale of the build, which is very, very important. And I definitely don't like that there. No, I, I do like that there. But I don't like the ladder on front. So, oh. Boom. Well, nope. Boom. There we go. And we got a cabbie. And you know what? Since we're here, let's go ahead and try this right quick. See if we can give it some more shape. Or does that make it look too military vehicle-esque? Mm, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments which one do you prefer. That one or with the carpet all the way across the hood. So just like that, we have the first vehicle in our town. It's, like I said, nothing too special, but I think it just adds a little bit more life as well as it'll look cool when we do eventually update the map to have more pops of color randomly around. So with that, I think I'm going to spend a little bit more time adding in more cabbies as well as different vehicles, and then we'll roll right on in to the next thing. So I'll be right back, guys. Alright my friends, I am back and that took a significant amount of time. So long that I actually migrated my Microsoft account and as a result, I now have these cool set of wings and or cape. But, yes, moving back to what we were originally working on, if I can get my camera set correctly. This vehicle was here so long that I had to have some bush started to grow over it. It's all overgrown and such. And then we have this nice, well, once luxurious looking sports car that some very rich banker owned all sorts of emeralds or something like that. And this thing has since sat and been neglected. And furthermore, we have a few more cabs dotted around. Another one overgrown. They all kind of look like the tires have been deflated. They've been sitting here for so long or we got a whole bunch of low riders. But that is about as far as I got. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I have been struggling to stay motivated to try to work on some of these details. I have been putting it off and then as soon as I log into the world, I just kind of stare at it for a little bit. And with the start of our new handcrafted series, I have been so motivated to get things moving in there. And honestly, just try to keep up the pace with my quest that this uh, world kind of has taken a little bit of a back burner. So in order to kind of help move things along to make progress in this world, we're going to kind of stray away from this area for the time being. And we're going to go back over to the starter little village and do some more stuff over there. So I'll tell you what, guys, I will meet you right over there. All right, my friends, back over here at our starter village. And we can see this little double chest that we got going on over here. In case you missed my little Minecraft short that I put out at this point, I believe a week and a half ago. This is the profit from all of that ore that I collected. And here's the numbers for you. It was 2,464 coal ore, 2,341 iron, 432 gold, 121 lapis lazuli and 240 diamond ore blocks and as you can see we are very very wealthy now what that i mean we used it eventually for something but yes i wanted to get back to a few of the projects that we have going on here one of which i think will include tossing in some trees i haven't built a tree for a long time and honestly I'm kind of missing it. I like building these nice big old like weeping willow-esque oak trees. So I dotted a few of these around. You can see where I put the stumps like there. And there's a couple more over there somewhere. So we're going to get started on building those. So I think the best way for us to capture that would be to go ahead and get things started by putting things into warp speed. So kick that music and let's get this thing going.
And just like that, we have four more trees. Surprisingly, that took, I think, about an hour and a half to do. So let's go down and take a look at them. Which also, by the way, you'll probably notice that the fields are now planted. That was something I just wanted to knock out right quick. I didn't see any point in trying to do that on camera. Just some simple sweet berries, uh, wheat, and then corn. Nothing special, all decorative. But how about these trees? I love the look of these trees. I can't say it enough. These trees are my favorite to build. And this one has been a long time coming. Ever since I first built this villager little meeting hall, mead hall, whatever, town center, I just noticed how flat that surface was. And I knew I was going to put a tree there. And I was just waiting for an excuse to do it. And I finally knocked out that as well as those other three. So this area is really, really coming together. It's almost done. Well, for as much as I have planned currently. But after I finished up those, I went ahead and spent a little bit more time grinding in the nether. And well, I'm sure you can probably guess what I was getting in there. You know, a whole bunch of quartz. I'm just kidding. I got 10 more wither skeleton skulls, but we only need 9. As you can see, I have 12 soul sand, as well as some end crystals, some spyglass, Oh, and this. So I figured, let's knock out a few more advancements. So I think we are very much overdue from that embarrassment of a wither fight that we had so many episodes ago. I am seeking a little bit of redemption from that. But I'm coming right over here to the ocean, or excuse me, the river, because I did not realize I didn't have this advancement yet. So we'll just cruise on over here. Look at that. Talk about an easy advancement. Like, come on. <laughs> Alright, you can go home. I don't actually need you. Little salmon feller. But let's cruise back over here and knock out another super easy advancement. It's one of those, I've had this stuff all set and ready to go for a long time now. But I just haven't forgotten to do it. So, we're going to put these on. And instead of sinking through... Oh! How about that? Easy peasy. Like, kind of a little bit of a lame advancement in my opinion but you know what that's okay it's a good way to get all of the players to engage with the new add-ins but now it leaves us to do some more boss fights so i tell you what guys i'm going to meet you at the first location and then we're going to take it from there all right i am over here at the end dimension and we're not going to do this the same way we did last time that was quite disastrous so we're going to do this in three different fights. We're going to start off the easiest where we're going to cheese it, utilizing the bedrock underneath the portal. And then we're going to fight it in a cave tunnel, kind of like the early game version of it. And then we're going to do a straight up aerial boss fight in the overworld. I thought that would seem fitting. But uh, I also wanted to see if I could get my chances at getting a few wither skeleton roses. So this is all the eggs I had and we got one chicken okay well that's literally pointless so now if I remember right I do believe I've done this the right way if not you know we'll have a little bit of the overworld fight first which I'm not against I just thought I'd do it in the way to build up my confidence I'm a, I'm a little uh, beaten up from the last time we did this so he should pivot up I hope he's not up one too high you know what let me check right quick Okay, I believe it is set up right. The only step I did not do was to put a block of obsidian down there. So hopefully that will not be our demise. So there's nothing left now than to go ahead and spawn him in. And we'll see what happens, I suppose. Probably should have gotten rid of my ender chest. You know what? We're just going for it. Okay. Let's see if this works. Alright, he has not gone up. That is really loud. I do apologize. All right, cool, one down, on to the next place. All right, so the next area we're going to be fighting the wither, like I said, is going to be down in the tunnels. So we are right below, this is my original branch mine area. Get ourselves all lined up, and hopefully this one also goes according to plan. 
This time I was a little bit more precautious and I went ahead and put on my chest plates with blast protection. So we should be good there. I got potions and everything ready. So I guess now there's nothing left than to do it again. Hope I went far enough back. Oh, I should have popped a strength potion now. Uh, you know what? Let's wait a little bit. Okay. Alright. Things are good. Just keep hitting him on the tail. Keep backing up. Uh oh, he went up. Come on down, bud. There he is. Okay. Strength potion. There we go. Okay, yeah. We got this. No problem. No problem. Easy, easy. Done. Wow. Why didn't I do this the first time? Why did I think it'd be easier to fight it in the end? Alright, well, last one. It's going to be an overworld fight, so let me go ahead and meet you guys there. All right, my friends, we are now over here at the new 1.17 chunks, and I'm just waiting for the sun to set long enough so I can sleep, make sure that my spawn is set just like that. So I came over here because I do not plan to build anything in the immediate future, and also there's a whole bunch of mobs. I haven't absolutely ransacked the area of all of the mobs, so maybe we can get ourselves some wither roses this way since the chicken egg method was an absolute bust. So go right over here. I don't know, this looks like a great spot. We're far enough away that if I die, I have enough time to respawn and I forgot the stuff. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So let's go ahead and get this all set up. So all we gotta do is put the last skull on and we're gonna go ahead and start the replay mod. Hopefully that works. I'm not completely too far away. But let's, uh, let's just go ahead and do it, I guess. Here goes nothing. All right, well that's good. Apparently I am still a very much terrible shot with the bow. There we go. Now I just need to turn, shoot, not to do that apparently. That's okay, that is okay. Oh, with a rose. Distraction. We might die. Golden apple. Okay, there we go. See if we can get rid of the wither effect. There we go. Okay, we are fine. Everything's fine. Nobody panic. Oh, I'm in a hole. Yeah, at this exact time, I am starting to regret not bringing my elytra. Okay, take one was a fail. All right, let's see if we can run over and get our stuff while he is chasing other mobs and then we'll regroup and try again. Why do they always gotta make the darkness come in? Okay, so he's way over there. So we should be far enough away. Lost a little bit of progress on him, but we'll go ahead and try the elytra method. I'll go get myself some potions of slow falling. All right, where did I die at? I know it was in a hole, so there we go. There's levels. Oh no, did I just lose all of my stuff? Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, all of my stuff is gone. Oh, that's 
Oh, that's so bad. Oh, man. And you know what? <sighs> hold it. Hold me to it, guys. We are never fighting the Wither in the overworld again. Uh, apparently, this is just not for me. Okay, well, um, do we even try? I don't have any tools to attack him or anything. I might have to go back to base, resuit up, and you know, I might just leave him out there, honestly. He might just be with her forever. I have no idea where he went. All right, well, I'm going to run back, re-equip, and maybe we'll give this one more try. Well, the advantages of being endgame are coming in handy right about now. I'm just chilling at my gold farm. Went to my villager trading hall, grabbed a whole bunch of books, some spare gear that I had found in the end, as well as tools, and now I'm just sitting here collecting levels and enchanting my gear. Well, this is where I'm going to be for, like, ever, so I will be right back with you guys. Okay, I am back, gear has been restored, and I crafted up a shield this time, but we're going to go for the aerial attack this time. I got lots of rockets, put that in the offhand, and hopefully this second take goes a little bit better. This is it. This is the last go. I just grabbed any armor that I had. Some strength potions and an axe. This is all or nothing here. As soon as I chug this and jump through, we gotta jump through and get him as quickly as possible. Alright, so we're through. Gotta zip on over. I believe he was right over this way. Come on, where is he? Should be right on the other side of this hill, I believe. No. No, he's not. Okay. Where did he go? There he is. There he is. Okay. Sipping in. He's digging in. He's digging in. We got this. Where is he? Where is he? Uh. Okay, well, there's no wither bar anymore. Must be over here. Where is he? Come on. Over here, maybe? Okay, I hear him. There he is. Nailed it. Yes! Yes! Oh, you guys. Woo! Oh. Okay. I need a moment to collect myself. What a fight that was. 
I wonder if we even have any of our stuff back. I probably should be checking that before I take too long with this. So let's see, where were we fighting him last? Has to be somewhere around here. I don't want to lose all that stuff again. So we were, I thought, right over here. I mean, I'm at this point, I'm kind of writing it all off as a total loss. Alright, well, nothing over here. I know I died right next to this cliff. Oh, oh. Okay, there's levels. And blocks. Yep, looks like that was a total loss. Absolutely nothing. Was it worth it? That, I am not sure. You guys, let me know in the comments. Was that worth it? Because I'm kind of leaning towards it wasn't. <laughs> Alright guys, well I am going to head back to spawn. Hopefully get myself properly kitted out. And then we will continue on with the next bit. And by the power of video editing magic, we are back here at our starter village in my storage room. And much, much grinding later, we managed to get eight netherite ingots so we can just very, very quickly upgrade all of this gear. Which luckily, this was just enough from what I had been grinding out in the nether in between episodes. And I believe at the intro for one episode. So it was just enough for all of our tools minus the chest speed. So there we are, right back to normal. But that's gonna have to do it for today's episode, my friends. I do hope that you guys thoroughly enjoyed this, and I hope you are excited for the world tour coming up next episode. I got a special little surprise for you. I'm gonna finish up a few more projects around here before then, make sure that this world is ready to go. So once again, be sure to like and subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.